What were you doing before you started tattooing? I was a carpenter. I worked in the trades. I did carpentry, um, concrete. Uh, I was a uh, cabinet and millwork finisher in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area for a few years and before that I was a sign painter but it was it was a tiny town it was a five you know five thousand people my hometown had uh, one street light uh, sounds like my town in the whole county <laughs> my town has one street light <laughs> so yeah get a town of five thousand people two hours from everywhere and <coughs> so uh, yeah I sign painted when I was 17. How'd you get into sign painting? What what drew you to that? My mom my mom was a graphic artist. My mom I was raised by an artist, so she was an oil painter, graphic artist. Um, she did a lot of sketches and uh, pencil drawings. She had her own art uh, newspaper. Growing up, my whole life, I grew up in you know in her studio, in her oil painting studio, drawing in her light table copying um, clip art for her newspaper and so I was just surrounded by it. just a single mom and um, no, I mean it sounds too cliche but single mom totally broke no money and I didn't have toys all that kind of stuff I was given pencils and uh, hey, you had art supplies yeah that's what she gave me yeah so I grew up smelling oil paints and looking through her anatomy books. But it's having someone come in that understands that I'm an artist, that understands that I'm flawed, that understands that I have I have quirks and that I have um, strengths and weaknesses, and understands that they're going to embrace all of them. And so that they come in, and it's the whole experience from um, listening to good music and talking about how amazing a band is to um, taking that and getting you know, getting some good food, taking my clients out to the ocean and going surfing and laughing and, you know, like cracking up while we're trying to get out of our wetsuits and while it's freezing and, you know, fearing sharks, you know, just like stupid shit, you know, and, and laughing over stuff and then going back to the studio and taking and creating a creative moment where they give me their body and they give me a concept and I grab some Sharpies and I find it. I search it out, whether it's on their body part or within their concept or within their message. And I take some pins and I just find it. I've, I've taken a concept and just, if I can set everything aside and I just start sketching it out on the person, which um, is totally risky, but it's, it's where and I just start sketching and, I, and it comes out. 